this dream is about celebrities conjuring demons on purpose um, to be famous. Okay, so this dream started out, I was with the angel of the Lord, and it was, it was instant. It was like, I, it wasn't like I went to the angel or the angel went to me. The dream just started off, we was together already. And the angel said, um, come see what man do for fame. Or the angel said, this is what man, that's, that's what he said. This is what man do for fame. We went to a room and the room was full of people. And it was like, uh, like they was rehearsing and the room, the first people that was closest to me was three men that was gathered around a table and they was all chanting, but the room was full of people. Okay. Okay. The room, it had to have been about a good 12 people, maybe more, but the first group closest to me was the ones that caught my attention first because they was right by me. And there was three guys. I could not make out the age, what age they was or whatever. But everybody in this whole entire room was chanting. What got my attention about these three men is that they was all rocking like this. And it was all in unison. And they was chanting something. I couldn't make out the words what they were saying. The next thing I know, I look across the room and I can see that it's more people spread out all over the room. But the thing that caught my attention the most, that which I will never forget, it was a young girl. She was black. She looked like she maybe was like a teenager. I'm going to get this girl about a good 18, 19, 20, somewhere up in there, young. The girl was on one of those wire harness, what you float somebody up in the sky like they're flying. And she was dressed like Storm. And as these people was chanting and chanting and chanting and chanting and chanting in this room, this girl was lowered down on that cable and her body was just hanging limp backwards. Like her, she was bent backwards and her eyes was completely wall to the white. There was no black in her eyes. She looked just like Storm from the X-Men. And the angel was saying, this is what men do for fame they are conjuring demons on purpose putting the demons in the people on purpose so that when they act on the stage or when they sing it's more believable like you see such and such you say oh man that's a great actor oh he was crying it seems so real he's he could easily make himself cry or you see people that uh are doing these demonic scenes and scary movies and they're growling and they're crawling over backwards and they're doing all of this weird stuff and you was like oh wow that seems so real yes because these people are purposely purposely conjuring up spirits getting possessed by demons so that they can act real like a great actor on stage or a great singer and when i woke up from that dream I was reminded about the interview that Nicki Minaj did it did long ago. They was asking her about her alter ego, Carl Roman. And they was asking her about the, the lyrics of Roman's revenge. She started to laugh and say, Roman is a little boy that speaks for her, you know, and, you know, how she want him to go away, but he can't leave because what was her key word? She said, they conjured him up and he cannot leave. Then my mind instantly, instantly went to Beyonce. Well, Beyonce said she has an alter ego called Sasha Fierce. She was saying that Sasha Fierce does the dancing. And all of that. She said she cannot sing and dance like Sasha Fierce. Sasha Fierce does all that dancing. Then that made me remember when Beyonce did that Super Bowl where she was wearing all that black. Where this thing literally morphed her face and morphed her body into like a big man. Like she literally shape-shifted on the stage in front of people. And then they made it so her publicist... Uh, 
made all those pictures come down offline. When people took pictures of her, shapeshifted her eyes was literally black. There was no white in Beyonce's eyes at that Super Bowl event. And the angel of the Lord was showing me that fame is nothing but a big soul harvesting pit. It's a big satanic soul harvesting pit. You do not want to be famous if you do not want to get in bed with Satan. If you do not want to have demons come and indwell your soul on purpose, then you don't want to be famous. You don't want to be famous. I was thinking about the young girl, Chloe Bailey, how before she blew up, so to speak, she was singing just nice, sweet, innocent songs with her sister. And then she went off to be famous and link up with Beyonce and all of them, but her sister did not. Next thing you know, this girl is throwing up 666 signs and dancing all satanic and and dressing satanic. It's too much. Uh, Little Nas X, satanic, giving lap dances to the devil, doing all of these things, these these demonic um, facial tattoos that they're doing with the third eye and all of this stuff. And they, you don't want to be famous. The angel of the Lord himself showed me these people are purposely, they was purposely conjuring up demons to be possessed. To get their alter ego so that they could either A, perform better or act better on stage. I repeat this for the young or anybody that just sees fame and think, oh, I, I look up to Cardi B. I look up to XYZ. I look up to this person, to that person, to that person. Fame is a big soul harvesting pit where people sell their souls to be in the world with demons on purpose to be better actors and more relatable and to sell more on stage. That's it. That's all. It's nothing to it. It's nothing to being a great actor. They're not like you and I who you might like acting or you might like singing. No, and you might be naturally blessed with the gift. These people purposely conjure spirits to indwell their souls to act better and to be more relatable and sell more on stage. Why? So that you and I can look at them as they are casting their spells on these movies and in these songs and in these music videos to glorify so that you and I can say, oh, I want to be just like that. I want to have a body just like that. I want to be a good actor just like that. I want to be a good singer just like that. I want to be a good dancer just like that. But do you really? Because they are demonically possessed and they know it. It's like a part of the contract. They was all in the room chanting together. And the girl came down on the cable. She was like a corpse. Her body was just leaned over backwards. Her eyes was walled to the white. It was not an ounce of black in her eyes. And she was dressed just, just like Storm for the X-Mans. Think about that. The superhero movies. Think about all of that stuff. It's, it's not worth it. It's not fame. It is not worth it. I'd rather be poor and be with the Lord than to have to do that to give up my soul. For money, it's not even worth it. It's like the Bible says, what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and you're going to lose your own soul? So I just wanted to share that with y'all because I could not believe it. And, and I wasn't even sure why God showed it to me other than just to, to speak it, to tell it to one another. You know, maybe this is something you've heard before, but the fact that he specifically showed it to me, it has to be for a reason. Maybe somebody was meant to see this video how I've been contemplating fame and the Lord has been telling you, no, 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 no. And you've been contemplating it and he just wanted you to hear this video so that you can know beyond a shadow of doubt what you're getting yourself into. If you don't believe me, go, go listen to celebrities videos. Go listen to what's that girl? Oh, the American Idol judge. Uh, 
who seen the dark horse. Hmm. Dang her name. Katy Perry. Go. Katy Perry used to be a Christian. Go listen to her videos. Go her interviews. Go. Just listen. Just do your own research. Don't take. I always say this. Don't take my word for anything you see on none of my videos. The Bible says, but trust not every spirit, but try the spirit by the spirit. See if these things be so. Pray about it if you're trying to go into fame. And then go do your, ask the Holy Spirit to help you do the research. And you will see for yourself, these people are purposely letting demons in the world their souls to be more famous, to be better actresses, to be believable on stage, to have great singing voices, to have great dance moves. Pray about it before you go to fame. Pray about it. Do you really want to be famous? Or do you just need the Lord to help you out to take to take care of your, you know, your bills? You don't want to be famous, though. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen.